I think we have also to agree that our concept are maybe not the right one. We're spending a lot of time to talk about coordination, cooperation. Maybe, maybe it's, this is already late. Maybe the key word is collaboration, not coordination. How do we collaborate together? In fact, trying to, and here, I would really make a difference. Collaboration means that you are co-creating new solutions. We are trying to find new solutions. I know it looks difficult because sometimes we compete among ourselves as humanitarians to have the attentions, the fund, the support from different governments, from the public, but it's possible that we would have to start to collaborate on specific issues. We would have to. If I just think funding, for example, I'm convinced in the next 10 years we will have to explore new way to finance humanitarian action. And I'm not talking about money. I'm not talking about marketing technique. I'm talking about new platform, peer-to-peer. -peer. I'm talking about financial impact bond. I'm talking about a new way to explore that. And it won't be, none of us will be able to do that alone. So I'm not saying for the entire sector, but some of us will have to explore that. If I look at health, the health sectors, ladies and gentlemen, over the next coming five years will go through a massive revolution. And it will start, ladies and gentlemen, with give you one indicators with the fact that you will see a watch like the new iWatch which will come six months this watch will not only give hours but the interesting part of the new watch will not be there you, okay that will be important to watch of course but we behind it when you have sensor which will constantly monitor in fact your pulse it's already happening but also your temperature the numbers, the quality of your sweat or sweat or whatever. Um, and in five years' time, I tell you, you will have constantly feedback. You have it already. Feedback about your health, you for you. Even if you don't want, be aware of that. It won't be possible to say stop. It will be there. But it will also feed big data. Big data. And the big news right now in the, human, in the health sectors is who will be the new winner of that? And maybe the new health, the new big in health, to our surprise, will not be a pharmaceutical company, will not be a, a big drug company, but maybe the big winners in five years' time will be Google. And I would bet on Google. Google, in five years' time, will transform itself not anymore in an internet company, but in a health company. Watch carefully. So what I'm saying that this is the world which is changing. So we, as a humanitarian, we need to capture that. We need to understand, and we cannot do that alone. We have to collaborate with the private sectors being able to start to see what is their innovation, to capture that. Because it's changing also, again, the way people will connect to us. If we don't understand that, if we're not able to capture that, we'll be perceived as totally irrelevant. So your Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, it's a time of challenge, but also a time of opportunity, all of us. We can build that. And here, and this is my last comment. If we want to play a role as humanitarian actors, we will have to be humble, we will have to be ready to adapt, we will have to be ready to take more risk, possibly to be in close proximity to uh, population, people affected, but we will also have to invest in our people. We will have to invest in our people. The way we manage our HR, the way we talk about our human capital is still 19 or let's say 20th century. 21st century will be different. We are struggling as an organization in the ICRC to really manage well our people. But tomorrow it will be more important than ever. And I can tell you, it will be challenging for humanitarians to retain the right people. And it just won't be about salary only. The new generation is coming also about purpose. So purpose will be critical. They will look at leaders. Are we real, the real leaders? Are we inspiring enough? If we won't, it will be very challenging. So I can tell you the human actors, which will make a difference, will find a way, will be able to adapt, to carve its role in a very changing environment, will be the actors who will be able to invest in its people deeply and make a right decision. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.